So this school is like a 30 second walk from the house and you went to this school, right? Yes, I did. This is my kindergarten school. Wow. So we're here. We're going to show you guys the bathroom upgrade. It was pretty shabby before it was really in disrepair. I should have photos of the original. I'll put those up so you guys can see. And then I want you guys to see. Uh, and again, like I said, especially you guys that donated money, I want to see I want you to see where your money went. So we're going to sit down with the kids and um, yeah, this will be interesting. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, even better than I thought, the original is still standing here. And Apple, what do you have to say about this? Oh yes, this is actually, I've been using this bathroom for six years when I was here in this school. And how, so, what ages? Um, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Wow. Yes. And then it's right here. So this is the original restroom facilities that these little kids had to use and it's, you know, it's old. You heard Apple say she used this when she was a little girl here and... So they left the original one standing so I don't need to dig through my pictures of the old stuff. And this is the new facility. Apple says that they still have money left over in the budget. So they're gonna do some paving or something here, a little project. And now look you guys, nice and new. And Western toilets and everything's clean and nice. And I think, I think these kids deserve an upgrade, don't you? So, we were not the only ones that donated money, but um, you know a lot of a lot of local people here donated money as well. And some of you guys also donated money, which was really a shocker to me because I don't feel comfortable trying to solicit donations. I just posted something um, on Facebook, uh, just announcing that I was going to donate the proceeds of uh, of a couple of sales this direction. And some of you guys, out of the goodness of your heart, sent some money, and we sent all that money over in one big shot and they reached their budget and they did the construction so pretty cool just wanted you guys to see that and we're gonna have some lunch with the kids and see how cute they all are so all right <laughs> So you guys, I want you to see where your money went.
Okay, you guys, so in talking more with the principal and the teachers, apparently a lot of the budget here goes to the food. And um, the food changes seasonally, and sometimes it's okay, and sometimes it's better than okay. We actually paid for this food, so they're eating really good today. I'm thinking about maybe doing another project to where um, I might sell some animals and uh, donate some of the proceeds to those animals to um, a food budget for the school. Because I mean, even Apple's mom went to this school from way back. So Apple went to this school and it's just like 30 second walk from our house. So I feel like it's pretty important that we embrace this school and embrace the kids. And I might come here and do some educational talks when I have time, bring some snakes and things in here and kind of educate the kids about that kind of stuff but uh, I'm not sure yet but I think I might do something food budget related in regards to sales and I'm not soliciting any money whatsoever I'm I'm more than happy to just do this completely on my own but uh, pretty cool I just wanted you guys to see that and also school here is a little bit different you know um, the uniforms the, the mandatory haircuts um, you know they're pray before they eat and walk in a straight line and all that sort of thing and I think it's kind of cool so anyway um, you know this is this is like my my life my where I'm gonna be residing and everything else so it's important to be part of this community that's about it pretty interesting kind of emotional actually so that was pretty cool their own ditches. wow that's different yes help yourself Wow, they even have to do their own dishes. That's surprising. Well, maybe not coming from here, but I wouldn't see any kids doing that in the US, I'll tell you that. <laughs> Apple, tell everybody where we're at. We are at Sukunakon Evening Market, Sukunakon Province, Thailand. Okay, you guys, this is a really interesting market. We have been here before. We did a video in here. I actually bought a bird and released it. I will put a link up in the corner, so if you want to go back and watch it, you can. So the video doesn't look identical to the previous one. I am going to have Apple take over and run this one. Okay. Give her perspective right. on the market and give you guys a different, yes, different look at that. it. All right. This is the stage of the um, dragonfly. The dragonfly, they will lay the eggs in the water 
and then they will turn it into this thing that I don't know what they call but this little box right here is actually um, a dragon fry when it comes to the town they will come up from the border up to the surface and then they will grab the grass and then they will mold out as a dragon fries people eat those also of course So as you see in here, you see the different the size of that ants eggs. So this one is bigger lot, this one is smaller. This one will become like a worker ants when they turn into ants. And this one will become like a bigger ants, like an arm armor ants. All the armies like a <laughs> to protect the queens and all that. This is banana leaf, they turn it into a like snake looking thing. We have um, Naka, they call it Naka here, it's like a big snake, they're living in the Mekong River and then they use these for offering for temples, for a spirit house, again for blessing, lucky, healthy and all that. No, oh, this, no, this is a boiled cow skin, oh. and then it's, they will boil it with a lemon glass, some salt, some uh, kaffir leaf, and then they will boil it for a long time, and then it will be like chewy, like eating some jelly. So this is kind of like our pork rinds that we have in the U in the U.S. But not of. crunchy. But not crunchy, crunchy, right? Yeah, right. Soft. Right. right. Yes. Tell us about the mangoes. This is different type of mangoes. Normally we will see it bigger yellow, and yellow color and oval shape. This one is smaller and this is actually ripe. It's green here and you will see a little yellow in here. But when we cut it open inside will be yellow. And it's so fresh so it will taste so good this one. Can you carry it off? That's very cool. That is very cool. Yes. Purchased. Yes. How much is it? Yes. How much? 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 He's a star at this market, oh, yeah, actually. Right. Oh, really? Yes, yeah. he's just a try. So, Dan, this is your uh, now world famous yes. sausage with rice because of your videos. Oh, it's very good. <laughs> All right, so that's what this is. So it's just basically sausage stuffed with rice, essentially. That's what Apple told me, but... Disgusting rice! <laughs> 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 yeah, you know, don't, don't ever piss her off, man. She's gonna... It's all rice sausage. It should be rice. So it's rice sausage. sausage. It's got some little ground pork inside also, the marinade ground pork. All right. And some little small string of uh, noodles. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, let's give it a whirl. Apple, tell everybody where we're going now. We are going to Night Market this time. So, yeah. what what's it like? Is it different than this one? It's different than this one. They will have like a, the food that the vendors already preparing and ready to eat and all that. Not uh, frogs, not uh, bugs, no meat and all that. Okay, you heard it first here. Apple, what's the name of this market? Bantat Market. Okay, yes. cool. I don't think I have we ever been here? Um no. Never been here before, alright. Just passing through. Yeah. Up right, here.
But for today's video, just a quick visit to that market. Yeah. We got a few little snacks and stuff. What'd you get? Some corn and, and some. Co oh, sorry, corn and mango. And some mango. Yeah. So that'll be it. We have an early flight tomorrow. We're flying to Bangkok for the next segment of our trip. We have a lot of packing to do because we came here packed with lots of stuff, but now we need to sort through it so we can figure out what stays and what has to go with us. So that is about it. Thank you for watching, and we will see you again in the next video. Good night.